Well, I'm packing out for uh, an overnight trip this weekend. And the past couple weeks, I've been getting a lot of requests for my gear list. So I figured, what the hell? Let's make a video about it. Uh, now, to keep things uh, relatively uh, short as far as the video is concerned, I'm not going to go over all the weights for each item. Uh, actually, if you look at the bottom of this video, there's going to be a description. YouTube has a description. I'm going to post a link, and that link's going to bring you to the Mediafire website where you can download my list that I'm taking out this weekend. All right, so uh, let's get into it. The backpack. This is the ULA Home Backpack. 3,500 cubic inches of straight gangsta sexy. <laughs> I love this thing. Uh, great side pockets, which I'll show when I pack this thing out. Uh, I added a few things. One, I added uh, some really thin shock cord to uh, tie some gear on the outside. Uh, I went with the uh, little mesh bag you can put inside. And I also have uh, the hydration bladder uh, sleeve. So I added a little bit more weight than uh, what it says on the website. So uh, that's the backpack that I take with me. Love it. My sleep and shelter system. This is the system that I take when the lows get down to the 30s. All right. Or bonnet outdoors.com. Black Mamba. Uh, three season bag. It goes down to 30, 20 degrees actually, because this thing goes down to 20. I've tested it down to about 27. Rating's good. Or bonnet outdoors.com. Three season Yeti. Rated down to 30 degrees. Tested it down to 27 degrees. Not bad. Good rating. Gossamer gear. One eighth inch thin light bed. For my legs, test it down to 30 degrees. It works. And I uh, got some gear, quarter inch thick uh, butt pad that I cut down. Uh, the, the weights on the, on the spreadsheet are these combined. Okay, this is my sit around camp use. This is just for sleeping in the hammock. Cuban fiber, tricec, granite gear. Uh, 10 liters. This is for the Mamba and the Yeti. Oven bag. For the 1.1 uh, single layer war bonnet Blackbird hammock. I use this. At, this is kind of like a dry bag, only because uh, the. Uh, I'll show you. The tree straps when it's raining get soaked, so I just put the Blackbird hammock into this oven bag and then I'll take the uh, straps and just throw them inside the slip into the foam pack, just kind of free. And then later on, maybe I'll strap them on the outside of the pack, let them dry out as soon as the weather changes. So that's the reason why I kind of use the Blackbird in this. Cuban tarp. Maker shall remain nameless until uh, after the trip. But yeah, love it. Packs down nice and small. Cuban fiber, gangster. And Cuban fiber steak sack and mountainfitter.com's six inch tea steaks. Haven't really given them a thorough, thorough, thorough test. Woo! <laughs> but I will this weekend. So I'll let you know how that goes out. Next section. My cooking system. This should be relatively quick, not much to it. Bear bag, mountainfitter.com, Cuban fiber. Really cool. Can't wait to use this. Mini Bull Designs, original bongo stove in a plastic bag. And not bad. Uh, this, this thing is tiny. It doesn't make them this tiny anymore. Sad. True. Really nice. Minimal design. Crazy cooking kit. Doesn't make this anymore, unfortunately. I made uh, pot cozies out of reflective material. You get it Lowe's. Uh, uh, one cup 
and a two cup type uh, cooking pot. I have a uh, Foster's can cut down for two cups, windscreen, spoon, brunton, collapsible spoon, the weights on the spreadsheet, everything combined. And I've weighed all these things today just to make sure I have the most accurate uh, weights for you guys. Because I love you guys. Make sure you guys are happy. Yeah, I'm a little crazy today. Work's getting to me. And uh, you get in the brunt of it. Next section. Oh, sorry. Before I go. Uh, four ounce bottle of fuel. Only going overnight. Taking two ounces with me. Next section. <laughs> Hydration system. Don't blink. This is going to be fast. Aquamare drops. Done. Platypus, one liter collapsible bottle. I use this for my dinner and my breakfast if I'm cooking for breakfast the next day. Half a liter for dinner, half a liter for breakfast if I'm using if I'm cooking for breakfast in the morning. Sometimes I'll just eat dry stuff. All right, and the three liter platypus. Uh, big zip, big zip because you can uh, unzip it. Open up and fill it. It's easier than those screw things. Those screw things the Camelback has <clears throat> suck. That's just my personal opinion. Don't take everything I say as gospel. And this port actually uh, comes off, which is really cool. Moving on. All right, let's talk camp clothes. Granite gear, Cuban fiber, dry sack, seven liters. What do I put in it? <laughs> REI uh, Light Hiking Summer Socks. Smart Wool Midweight Top Black. Smart Wool Midweight Bottoms Black. Montbell Ultra Light Down Air Pants. Tested down to 27 degrees and light and black. Montbell, uh, extremely light down jacket. Haven't tested it yet. Tested it in the 35s, just walking around outside. Uh, it's gonna get us test this weekend. Light and gunmetal, not black. Let's see here. What the hell we got here? Ah, black rot down down hat. Really nice. Super compressible. Awesome. Black. <laughs> Why is everything black? I don't know. That's just what happened. Uh, Nun Attack, Tina Way, Down Booties, modified into uh, Down Socks. Not Goose Feet. I don't know why people think I have Goose Feet Down Socks. I wish I did, but I already spent the money and got these, so I'm not getting Goose Feet. But, really nice. Light. Woohoo! Maybe because I did the report on the Goose Feet, everyone thinks I have the Goose Feet Down Socks. I have the Goose Feet Down, not Goose Feet, uh, Down Socks, uh, Booty Shells. That's what I got. A little confusion there. But uh, yeah, got these. Gonna test them out. Uh, give them their final test this weekend uh, and report back and uh, let them know how, it, how it's holding up because these are Cuban fiber. Not on his site. Still testing. That's it. Moving on. Miscellaneous items. Woo! Uh, glass, glass is cleaner. I have a glass case. Glasses and a uh, microfiber cloth inside. Mirror. Not because I'm vain. All right, a little. No, I, I wear contacts to bring them on the trail with me. So uh, I use the use the mirror to put my contacts in. So necessary evil. Cuban fiber ditty bag. Cuban fiber kind of uh, show a little theme here. What do I got in here? Petzl E Light. Good for camp use, not good for night hiking, so I uh, wouldn't recommend it, but I don't do night hiking, so there you go. Sunblock, half an ounce. Squeeze in there. Good stuff. Contact case with my contacts. And a small little bottle I got from Backpacking Light, a uh, little eyedropper bottle with a little bit of uh, saline solution. 
So that still goes in there. Tooth cleaning kit, Colgate Wisps, which I'll take out of the package, obviously. And uh, Listerine, those little uh, tabs, helps with the disinfectant. And because I'm telling you what, these Wisps don't really clean that well. So uh, I'm going to try to up it and do a Listerine. I'm going to give them one more try this weekend. If I don't like it, man, I might go back to uh, the, the little uh, travel size toothbrushes because I didn't really feel like I was getting a good job with those things. Uh, let's see here. Compass. Got to have one. Yay! Um, Cuban fiber. Z-packs. Pack cover. I, I go... This is how I, I prevent uh, my stuff from getting wet. Well, do my best anyway. You can only do your best. Uh, I use the pack cover, and then I put everything in dry bags. I don't do the pack liner anymore, just because it was being a little bit of a pain in the ass for me. So that's the method I'm using. Now, that could change. Who knows? Uh, ULA Rain Wrap. Did a review. You know what it is. Mountain World, Mountain World Designs Event uh, Rain Mitts. Because right now, temperature is hovering 40s, maybe low 50s. And if it does rain, which it's expected to on Saturday, my hands will get cold. This will prevent that. Test it in the sink and in the shower. Works. Feel. Hopefully I get to use it. Anti-gravity gear. Ultralight sil nylon rain jacket. Nose pit zips. I'm going to sweat to death. You know what? I always sweat to death, even with pit zips and rain jackets. It's the nature of the beast. So I figured if I'm going to sweat to death no matter what, I have something really freaking light. Medical kit. Whatever you like to bring for medical kits. I don't bring much. <laughs> uh, what is this? MSR pack towel. This is called the face towel. This is really all you need to, uh, you may be half of this, but I'm taking the whole thing to uh, really dry yourself out. I don't plan on taking a shower out in the woods overnight, but uh, if it does rain and I want to pack my top away, at least I can wipe this down a little bit the best I can if it, when the rain stops the next morning. It'll help me out. Water monkey flag. Everyone needs a flag. Uh, let's see here. Phone. Good to bring a phone. Just in case you screw up and you need help. Chapstick. Still cold. I put these in that little bag inside the uh, ULA home. I have a uh, z pack Z-Line that I use if I want to put the uh, tarp in porch mode. So a little extra cord. I have three mini binder clips because they weigh nothing and you can hang things off the tarp to dry. Uh, extra shock cord just because, you know, who knows when you need extra shock cord. And uh, Hyperlite Mountain Gear makes their own special Cuban fiber tape. I bring a little bit with me just in case something happens to my tarp. Gotta fix it. This is the best way to do it for me. And uh, my luxury item. I mean, some of these things are luxury items, but this is a luxury item. This is uh, 3.2 ounces. It's a mini tripod. I'm testing it out. And uh, if I didn't have this, I'd probably have a 10.3 uh, pounds as far as base weight, but this makes it 10.5 or 10.6. So, uh, yeah, whatever. To each his own. All right, let's go into cons some consumables.